MassCon. Harry and Meghan desperate to control social media as plan live Q&A removing all their bad PR. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle may return to social media for a live Q&A, according to a royal commentator. Harry and Meghan could return to social media in an attempt to control their own narrative, the royal commentator suggests. The official Instagram of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex has not been used since March 2020, the same month that the pair moved to the US. Commentator Neil Sean said, This particular story ultimately centers on the fact that Harry and Meghan are gearing up allegedly for a busy 2022. One of the ideas that they're looking, is making sure they make their mark in the world of media. After all, this is how they make their money now, as we often tell you here on the show, but what is interesting is how they do make their money and how they make their mark. He added, Harry and Meghan decided to step back from that even though they had a considerable following on things like Instagram and Twitter when they were part of the British monarchy. But now moving forward, they decided and are toying with the idea of moving back to social media. According to good sources, Harry and Meghan have decided that they wish to return to social media naturally under their own terms, but one of the issues that they truly need to readdress is all of that negative and bad PR. So according to a very good source, allegedly, one of their team thinks that may be a good idea to do this. One of the things Harry and Meghan like the idea of doing is really counteracting back and of course, sitting down for a live Q&A. Of course, there would be a delay, and let me explain how this works. The live Q&A would simply be Harry and Meghan live on your screen, and you would be able to send in questions like you do, most last few days. Of course, they will be selected and then the actual couple could answer. They see this as a great way of silencing some of the critics and counteracting some of their many negative stories, and of course, reconnecting with the public, showing them in their true home light. I think this is actually a really good idea. It's something that Prince Harry looks set to undertake first as of course, he releases the book, The Man He Has Become, for Penguin Random House. I think for the ex-royal couple, this would work perfectly because as they like to do, they want to control their own narrative. But what is interesting is of course, like so many things, I do hope that they've thought this particular genre through it's not as easy as people think. And of course, a lot of celebrities prefer to pre-record these types of stuff, so that they're not subjected to a lot of negative pressure. After a recent ride in a hot dog-shaped automobile, Prince Harry told a New York banquet honoring veterans that he is living the American dream. However, a royal expert disproved his claim, saying Meghan Markle and her partner are now failing in the United States. Harry and Meghan Markle, reportedly lost favor in the United States. Royal critic Danielle Wells claimed that the Queen, Prince William, and Kate Middleton have been all over magazine covers in America. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, according to the expert, have not built the broad support base that many, including myself, expected. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry were also left off of a list of 2021's most admired persons. According to YouGov's list of the most admired 20 men and 20 women in 2021, 36% of Britons liked Prince Harry. Around 43% of the Brits, meanwhile, disliked him. Hence, he got a net approval rating of minus 7 points from July to September in quarter 3. Meghan Markle was seen favorably by 28% and unfavorably by 51%, resulting in a net approval rating of minus 23 points. To 